Okay, today we're going to have some fun with some uh, retro animation, some some ASCII anima animations. So we're going to get, you know, animations in our shell using ASCII characters, basically characters that are on your keyboard, to put simply. Um, so real quick, here is a website. I actually have two websites here. Let me grab the other one here. And I'm sure you can find others with some uh, animation files. This one obviously has a lot more. I'll try to remember to put a link to these in the description. If not, there's the address. Uh, uh, artscene.textfiles.com forward slash uh, VT100. It, it tells you right here what a uh, VT100 is. Basically, they're, as I said, ASCII animations used uh, to show animations in a terminal machine. Uh, and you need to know the baud rate that you're going to use. And right here, these are saying uh, a broad baud rate of 9600. So let's go ahead and click on one of these files, like this one. It says Bambi versus Godzilla. We click on that, and uh, well, we got some text, and you can see some ASCII art here. Um, and well, basically, it's this is our animation. These are frames of our animation. So how do we display them? Well, we're going to go to our shell, and uh, you can use curl or wget, or if you have the file, you can cat it out. And let's go ahead and have a look at how that works. So I'm going to say I'm going to copy this file. Oops, I actually opened it. We're going to copy this address, and then go to our shell. And again, we can use wget dash Q for quiet dash capital O dash to just uh, get the output. So if I just run this now, I'll do that. And basically we get uh, kind of nothing. Well, you get the last frame, I guess I should say. So if I scroll up here, you get the kind of gives away the ending here of the video. Uh, but basically it's going to show each frame and overwrite. So if you just cut it out, you're going to get the very last frame of it. So Again, uh, if we were to um, click on one of these files and look at it, uh, there's special characters in here. There are escape characters for your shell that are going to do things like erase the screen for you uh, without getting too technical. So let's go ahead and uh, try that again, but instead of uh, just running wget and our command, which just loads it so fast, we, we basically, it played all our animation, we just missed it. What we needed to slow it down, again, uh, these particular ones from this website say that they use a baud rate of 9600. So what we need to do is we need to pipe this into a command called PV, dash Q, dash capital L, and we'll say 9600, and that will give us the baud rate, a baud, I always have trouble with that word, baud rate of 9600. We'll hit enter, and here is our animation. It was a pretty short animation, baby comes out. Bambi comes out and gets stepped on by Godzilla, and then you get a little credit thing at the end there. If we want to play it slower, we can slow down our baud rate. I'll just put it down to 3600, and now we see our animation a little slower. And we can even go slower if we wanted. And that's Bambi versus Godzilla. And again, there's plenty of these them at this site. Some are better than others. Let's go ahead and uh, see. We're going to look at one with a, a big file. So you can see the file size here, which means it's probably a longer animation. I'm going to copy that link address. And uh, again, uh, we can use the same command. Or if you were to use curl, all you have to do is say curl-s and then give it the URL. Again, piping it to PV. And let's put this back up to 9600. Oh, and we got a globe. And you can actually see the cursor uh, going across the screen on this. But uh, we got the globe spinning in ASCII art there, which is pretty cool. Still going. And spun a little bit, and now it's continuing off again. And when it gets to the end, we'll look at uh, another option for this. We'll go, we'll grab another one. We'll look at this one. Uh, Mr. Pumpkin, that sounds good. We'll say copy the link address. And again, so in both cases, we just streamed it offline. Basically, we're streaming ASCII videos in a way, if you want to call it that, uh, even though they're not video files. Um, but you can also download the file. So if I was to download this file, it's right here. I can cat it into PV-Q-Capital-L-9600, and it does the same thing. Oh, <laughs> you had to give it the file name. There we go. Oh, quick little happy Halloween, and there's the art. Now, if it does display kind of funny like this one is, it might be uh, your font size. So, like, I can turn my font size down. Try running that again. I guess that's how that one's supposed to look. Uh, but it went off the top of the screen, so shrinking it down gives me a little better display here. I have my font larger than normal for these videos. And... Um, if we go or go here, again, this one's uh, vt100.net forward slash animations. 
uh, and they have a list of Christmas ones here, zero through nine. So real quick, let's go ahead and write ourselves a little uh, loop here. I'm just gonna copy and paste it because I have it in my notes. We're gonna loop from zero through nine and we're going to download each one and put it through uh, at a slower baud rate so we can watch all these animations all at once. A little snow action there, Merry Christmas. A bird flying through the snow, I guess. Oh, and a Christmas tree growing. So now we're on our fourth animation, a little Christmas tree with a little train going around it. A little Merry Christmas cheers. Oh, a little Jack in the Box, Jingle Bells. A little bird, I guess, flying to this Christmas tree. Oh, and lighting up. Happy Holidays. Some of these are really short. And some of them might need to adjust the speed a little bit to view them properly. Well, it's just a little bit of, of retro fun here. And, um, and, okay, sometimes this might happen. So your shell uh, might get kind of screwed up. And if you try to type, like, I can type, let me type hello world. Hello world. Yeah, it's not quite working. What you can type is reset and hit enter. And that should reset your shell. And that's any time uh, that your shell gets gargled like that. That's just a little bonus tip. So I just typed reset, and that resets your shell if your fonts get all screwed up like that. So I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description as well as a link to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash MLX1000. I hope you're enjoying these shell script videos I'm putting out. And I also help th hope that uh, you think about supporting me either at Patreon or through PayPal. Visit my site to donate to either of those. Search through my videos. If you can't support financially, please share my videos. The more views I get, it, it really helps out a lot. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.